Welcome to To Enable Help. Uh, this is a continuation of the previous video in terms of how to control the actual To Enable digital library itself. If you type in the IP address of the To Enable digital library, it opens up this captive portal page. In this case, I am connected to the To Enable hub directly and I'm using uh, the default IP address which is 192.168.200.2. What I'm specifically going to show you here is a device administrator and this has to do with Intel and again this password came with the insert uh, with the quick start guide that came with the, the device itself. So here you can see you can actually control several things and the dashboards are telling you how charged your battery is, you've got full internet access, um, tells you the name of the hub which you can change and um, it says that it's connected to the Ethernet. I'm actually connected to um, a separate Internet. Um, it's not being used on the SIM card. So here I'm able to control the device. I've got two things that are connected to it. I can. This is Intel's control. So you need to leave this to full Internet access and you need to use the to enable control which was shown to you in an earlier video. Here we can set date and time, we're in GMT plus 2, which is what the South Africa is, and it automatically collects the date and time. Wireless settings, here you can change the name of the hub, so you can see down here, it says to enable hub X, this is where the name to enable hub X is set, and this is where the encryption and the password is set. So we're using uh, WPA, WPA2 personal mix security, and this is the password that you need in order to access that hub. Um, local area is this is actually the IP address of the hub so you'll notice up here that 192.168.200.2 is coming from from this space and if you connect it via Wi-Fi it's going to allocate you a, a similar IP address in the range from 100 to 200 um, and the device itself will allocate that for you on the WAN so setting so this is where um, you connect to a use the Ethernet port to connect to, a, uh, for instance, your school network, it's going to act as a, a client and it's going to ask your school network for an IP address and your school network will then assign it an IP address. What you can do is you can allocate it a fixed IP and connect it to your school network. And if you're going to access this device through your school network, then I suggest you allocate a static IP and you give it a fixed IP address and you tell it the gateway to the Internet. And then this is the IP address that users will use in order to access this device. So this is where it is set in under WAN settings. So when you decide to connect your device to um, your existing school network. Firewall settings, we leave them off because we control firewalls through the to enable settings. These are where you can change the username and password to access uh, um, this page. So we typed admin and you can change the password. And this for the teacher account, which is, if I go back to this page, to access this teacher space, it asks for a password. Um, and if I can find out where I am. So that is where, the, the, where you set the password in the account settings. And device management, yeah, you can reboot and you can update. One of the other things you can do is um, on the LAN settings, uh, uh, sorry, on the WAN settings, is if you've got a 3G or 4G SIM card, this is where you switch it on. So it's possible to switch it on at this point, and then if you save it, you're now activating the SIM card that comes built in in the device. Okay, so they're saying it was saved successfully. So there is a way to turn off the SIM card, and that is under WAN settings. So that's just a, a quick overview in terms of the device administration of a to enable uh, digital library which is using the Intel content access point and, and this functionality which I've just shown, the teacher and, and device administrator functionality is the standard functionality that comes with an Intel content access point. All of this additional functionality has been added by to enable to um, tie in and make it compatible with our um, applications and our website. I hope that has been informative for you.